So I posted another video about changing, about um, sort of cutting your leather and the first steps involved that I use when I re-leather belts. Um, and I had a couple people ask me also about changing the shape. So uh, if you look at this, this is a figs belt. The cut on the intercontinental that comes with the figs is, well, this is all beat up pretty good, but it's wrong, right? So if you want to just trace the old fig strap and use that as your cut, you can, uh, as I said in the other video. But if you don't, uh, another option is, well, I said, you, you can change it into, so it looks a little bit more accurate, kind of like this. Now, I know this is wrong. It shouldn't be pointy, but anyway. Um, so, how to do that. So, the first step is taking your piece of leather that I showed you before. You put it down on the table, and you put your figs um, belt on top of it, on top of it, and you use a punch to punch your holes. So, for a figs with screw ports, you use a number seven. And for a uh, boot, you use this. Okay, so you 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 trace. If it's a fig, you poke it through the hole. Okay, uh, if it's a boot, you put something under it and you press down, like I said in the other video. And you have a so basically you've got a, 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 the hole where your holes lying on the piece of leather. There's nothing else, just a blank piece of leather with some holes in it. Okay, then you take your main plate and you put it on. So this is a boot. This is a Nawaz made boot. You take the plate. And you put it on the leather. Now, if it's a if it's a figs, you just put the screw ports through. You can put the screws in. Uh, if it's a boot, you don't usually need to put the screws in. You just put the main plate on, so it sits there flat up against the leather and curved on the underside. Okay. Now, um, you do the same essential thing. You trace out the main plate. And again, if you're using a painted strap, you cannot use ink. If you use a black pen or any other colored pen, even blue, on a painted a strap you plan to paint, you will fuck it up completely. Okay, you'll be able to see it right through. So if you're using a painted strap, as I said before, I use a tool that looks like this. It's a little spoon. Trace around the edges really lightly. Wetting it first helps. If you're using black, which is most people like a black dye, I use a felt tip pen and you, you trace the plate out. So what you wind up with is a big, flat, plain piece of leather with the uh, some holes in it and then the outline of the main plate. Okay, so this is a, the piece of leather I showed you in the other video. So what you're going to have is it'll be just a blank slate. Now there's some ripples in the middle of this one, but you'll have some holes that you that you cut in the leather. You put, punch with your punch, and um, you'll have a um, an outline, like a black outline or just a traced outline of the main plate. So from there, you have to determine which style of the cut you want to use because different belts, especially for Millican and Parks belts, have a million different cuts. Sometimes this is arch, sometimes it's like this. Okay, so what I use is sometimes it helps to have uh, the tracing tool so these two pieces together okay you put this through here and if you want your whole top of your belt to be half an inch you simply trace along the top of the belt now sometimes with the IC this is especially helpful to actually draw the straight lines with a ruler so you use a caliper to determine how far away you want this to be. So if you want it to be half inch along the top and let's say half inch or three quarter, whatever you want along the bottom, like I said, leave more than you'll think you'll need. And because you do trim a little bit off this edge later. Uh, so you, you measure that, measure that. And then I just draw my straight lines with this. So this is easy, right? You measure your caliper, use your caliper to measure half inch, half inch, half inch all the way along. And then you just draw the lines to connect them. The scallops are a little more difficult, okay? On the, on the classic IC. All right, so you, you want the, the scallops. What I do is I measure equidistant here and here and the same match. So I match up all the, the, the points themselves. And then I use this handy thing. Or again, I mean, you can just use the bottom of a circular container as long as it's the same container for all of them to connect the dots. Okay, so you draw a dot, a dot, and a dot. Dot, 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 all equally spaced using your caliper or ruler if you don't have that, but I find this is better. And then from here to here, you just connect it, your scallops, and you've got, okay, same thing along the bottom. You measure from here to here, equidistant, make sure these are the same, these two, okay? Again, I use a caliper, and you can create three dots, doop, 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 and then you connect those dots using a semicircle. Again, I find the transparency of these very helpful. I've got a bunch of different sizes. Okay, so, and then you can, so that's just how to, and then from here, okay, you want to, again, use, on your leather, use a, a, a ruler to draw your straight line. Don't just freehand it, don't trace the belt, use a ruler, it's, it's, it's so important, okay. So, anyway, that's how to change the shape of the main plate. The IC, the classic IC, is really one of the more difficult ones in my experience. I find it's, it's really hard to get everything here symmetrical that's how i do it uh but different people change the cut like of the the winged eagle you can you can um 
change that as well. Some people like the wing, wing tips showing, but uh, anyway, that's just kind of a rundown. So if I start by tracing the plate and then plan the outer edge of my strap around that. And then the same steps I use in the other video to finish the rest of the belt. Thanks.